Well, here we are broadcasting from the world's worst soundstage, and I want to talk to you about dissolving things. Now, you know that gases dissolve in water. The oxygen dissolved in the water is what allows the fish to breathe. If there is no oxygen dissolved in water, the fish can drown. Water dissolves in the air. The water that falls in, in the form of rain had to dissolve in the air first. And gasoline will also do, dissolve in air. As the gasoline evaporates, if you spill gasoline, it becomes a solution with the air. So these are liquids which are dissolving in the air. Now think about it, it is a liquid. For example, the it, some people think, well, it's just changing state. Well, water boils at 100 degrees. The water is dissolving in the air. It is not vaporizing. It is not that hot. Now, here's the thing. Solids dissolve in liquids. You can see this right here. I'm gonna take some Epsom salts and you put it in the water and the solid very quickly dissolves in the water. Well, it will. It'll certainly dissolve before this video is over. But here's the question. Gases dissolve in liquids. Liquids dissolve in gases. Solids dissolve in liquids. Can liquids dissolve in solids? Well, you may have noticed that this Epsom salt has magnesium sulfate, that is the Epsom salt, plus 7H2O. In other words, dissolved in this salt is water. If you do not believe me, I'm going to show you because that's what I like to do. So here's the salt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it. And that should be heating up quite nicely. Okay, so here is a torch and here we go. We're going to heat that salt and you should start to see something happening. Some, some bubbling there. That is the water coming out of solution. You see the water. And, you know, there is quite a bit of water in there. Okay, let's see if we can get some more water to come out of solution. You can see it over there towards the other end of the spoon. And that is water coming out. And that's not the salt melting. This thing has got no, you know, salt will melt if you get hot enough. But this thing would be glowing red hot if it was that hot. This is water that is coming out of the salt. Water that was there when we started. But as the salt gets hotter, it cannot keep that water in solution anymore. But there you have it. Liquid dissolved in the salt. Quite a bit of liquid dissolved in the salt. In fact, the majority of the weight of this is actually um, liquid. The water in Epsom salt typically weighs more than the actual salt itself. And I think that's about all that we're going to get out of it. You can hear the sizzling from the water vaporizing. Now you can see it's changed a bit just to show you that it actually has not chemically changed. I'm going to do something with it to show that it is still Epsom salt. 
Well, how to prove it other than doing a chemical analysis or a flame test, which won't really work too well in front of a camera? Well, one thing I can do 